So these are all the foods that I eat throughout the week, uh, minus a few things which I'm going to go through in a minute. So first meal of the day, I have 200 grams of Greek yogurt, um, and I have it from Skya at the moment, Tesco's, and they have done for a while, for the last couple of months. Um, they do three of these for three pounds. So for Greek yogurt, good quality yogurt, um, that's actually quite cheap. So I have that with 150 grams of frozen fruit, whether that's blueberries or strawberries. I have it with 10 grams of almonds and then 15 grams of whey protein powder. So I normally train between 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock purely because I PT sort of mornings and evenings. Um, so that's the best sort of time for me to train. So I prefer my first few meals kind of being sort of protein fats. So like I said, my Greek yogurt is my protein fat in the morning with a little bit of carbs. And my second meal is something very similar. So I have 100 grams of cooked meat, whether that's sort of lean beef, 5% mince or chicken. Um, I have that with 150 grams of veg, normally broccoli or I have a frozen green beans. Handful of spinach leaves with 30% less fat cheese. Um, again, you can get two of these for three pounds from Tesco's. Really handy, Don't, doesn't really run out that quick. And on top of that, I put some sort of sauce, whether that's ketchup, uh, maybe a little bit of mustard or barbecue sauce with a little sprinkle of salt as well. So my first lot of carbs for the day is my pre-workout. And that's when I have the majority of my carbs, my pre and post-workout. So for my pre-workout, I have oats, 100 grams of these, uh, with 20 grams of impact weight protein powder in there with 10 grams of peanut butter. Um, alongside that, I have four or five uh, salt. I'm just laughing because I don't know why on earth there's, they put mango on rice cakes. Now I put banana, which I'll talk about in a minute. But why on earth put mango on there? Anyway, four or five rice cakes um, with one whole banana, anywhere between sort of 80 to 100 grams. If I was cutting, I'd perhaps be a little bit more specific, but because I'm bulking, it's a little bit more flexible um, with 25 grams of jam on there. So, so good. Then onto my post-workout, um, and this is where I have two bagels. Again, my uh, whey protein powder, I have 40 grams of that. I have, I, I dip one of my bagels into the protein powder and make some sort of like sludge sort of stuff. Sounds really gross, actually quite nice. That's with one of the bagels, the other bagel, I have 30 grams of jam on there. And then I have chocolate shreddies. Um, I have 80 grams of these with skim milk. When I'm kind of cutting, I'll make slight adjustments. So for example, I perhaps wouldn't have bagels. Um, I might turn to like bagel thins. And then things like milk, for example, when I'm cutting, I'm gonna be having almond milk. You're sort of halving the calories and you can save those for something else. Around two hours after my post-workout, I normally have another carbohydrate meal. And that is the form of one of two. So it's normally around 300 grams of white potatoes. Um, I go for these, I go for slightly smaller potatoes just because you can kind of cut them up quite quickly. Um, you can put them in the microwave for sort of seven, eight minutes and they cook quite quick. If I don't have potatoes, I normally have um, whole grain rice or just white rice, any kind of packet. Um, it's normally about sort of 70 grams of carbs in, in one of these. I have that with another protein source. So I have, again, I'll have either something like beef. Um, I've got tuna as well. So something like beef, tuna or chicken, sort of 125 grams of those. Um, and then I'll have it again with some spinach leaves and 150 grams of broccoli. So my final meal completely depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling not too bloated, um, I normally have some more oats with whey protein powder and then some like peanut butter or almonds in there. If I'm feeling a little bit bloated, again, I'll have some more um, cereal. Normally I wouldn't have shreddies in the evening, I would have something like Cheerios, um, Rice Krispies, something like that that's a little bit lighter. Um, have that with milk. I would have like a protein shake on the side um, and then on the side as well I'd have sort of dark chocolate, sort of 90% or 85% and over and I have about 20 grams of those. So this is everything that I eat in a day. If I'm bulking a little bit more, I'll probably just have a little bit extra. If I'm struggling with a little bit of calories, I'd include things like Serene, um, probably like an extra bagel or two where I can get the calories in. So that's what I definitely recommend for yourself is really, really kind of find foods that work with you. And everything that I've got here, I can eat. I don't have to kind of force feed myself. Um, it doesn't really, I know I spoke about bloating, doesn't really bloat me out too much. I know if I kind of increase my foods, I can deal with that not too bad, purely because these foods 
just sit well in the stomach. So if you're bulking and you're feeling bloated and really lethargic every single day, definitely look at what you're having, find out what foods are doing that to you and definitely replace them with something else. You know, there's so many different sort of protein, carbs, fat sources out there that you can have. You know, this is just a handful of them. So definitely do your research and find what works best for yourself. So thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.